of stocks. Today we're going to talk about DDOG, one of my favorite tickers, and I think we're hitting the bottom right here, and that's DDOG. So let's go ahead and bring her up. DDOG. It is a modern, modern monitoring and security system. It's a new IPO that's just came out here lately, and Jimmy really likes it. Uh, you know, if you want a job, looks like they're looking for help. So if you want to join their team, that'd be a great idea. If you're out looking for work, you want to work from home maybe. But there's a little jobs right there. You can check it out. they got engineering, marketing, sales, blah, blah, blah. But I'm really excited about this company. And the reason why, I'm going to show you a little bit right here on this little interview. From Datadog. This is Peloton. My name is Yoni Feng, and I'm the co-founder and CTO of Peloton. For the past five years, we've been working on combining uh, a media software and hardware uh, product into one to offer this unique exercise fitness experience for all of our users that can uh, experience a fully distributed indoor cycling virtual classroom. So. One thing that we think about at Peloton is our highest priority always is that core experience, making it as easy as possible to hop on the bike, find the class that you want to take, take that class, and get the best work out of your life. So it's crucial for us to make sure that we monitor um, how our system is performing across the board. We have a virtual leaderboard that is uh, ranking everyone together. And uh, from that capability, you need to kind of perform real-time, low-lag, uh, data processing for, for thousands of users all at once. And, uh, and Datadog's platform was instrumental in uh, offering observability and instrumentation and transparency in what the user experience is like during those live classes. And most recently, we started using Datadog's APM product to help us further in uh, solving some of our performance challenges with, uh, with the growth that we had in the past couple years. Um, the integration was actually pretty smooth for us. Uh, we use a async um, a controller layer uh, on, on Python G event, uh, and that was particularly troublesome with other APM platforms that we found uh, fairly simple with um, Datadog. One of the important things for us is how quickly we can respond when a user searches for a class, and we cut that uh, by a factor of four with the insights that we got from using APM we can see exactly what's going on and that might not have been apparent to us without the, the visualization of how the code is running. Within the first 30 days, 45 days, uh, we were able to quickly identify some of the top endpoint um, that have performance issues. And I think some of the top three, top five performance uh, issues we had with our endpoint, we were able to reduce those uh, response time by 80, 90% within the first 30, 45 days. One of my favorite things about Datadog is that Datadog is easy. It's easy for us to integrate with in our code. Uh, it's easy for me to investigate issues with, to look at metrics, and it's easy to share with my non-technical colleagues. So let's get right into the chart. chart. I couldn't explain it any better than Peloton did. And you know I'm bullish on Peloton too. I'll find a reversal play on it soon. But let's go ahead and look at D-Dog chart. Let's pull up the year just to see what we have right here. This is D-Dog. I got in this yesterday in an option price. And so I think we did hit a bottom here. You see we bounced off this many of times. We did have a little underpinning right here of a double bottom right down here. And that fell right into this support level right here right around the 7431 area. But I'm going to raise it up just a little bit, make it 75.11. i got to turn this around. But I'm in this for a fast scout swing trade, unless it really starts to take off. I like it 75.31 right there for a low, strong, strong buy. But I think we did kind of overdo it here. We were up, you know, like $102 up here, up here around 103 and we pulled all the way back to 80 and Then we had that bounce up. Now we have this hammer. 
right in here. This could be a hammer. It could be a, oh, I don't know. But right now it's a hammer. See what happens when you get these hammers. They like to break out and break up. Here's one right here. We consolidated for like five days and then had a huge breakout. So I'm thinking we're going to do the same thing. We need to break a resistance level, and I'll pull that up here shortly on the daily chart. But this is the, I think we can get right back up to this resistance level. And that's right here, right around the 92 area, 92.38. That'll be like a pivot point on the chart for the year takeoff. But we had a hammer right here. You see how we had to bounce up. We had a hammer right here. I'm pretty sure we're going to take it up to 92, 92, 92, 78, somewhere around in that area. But let's go ahead and bring this up to a 20-day and just have a little look at the 20-day and you get a different perspective. We had a high up here at 116.37. She consolidated here on that trend line, bounced up, and then we, we pulled back pretty hard right here for the last three days, and then we're starting to reverse. I'd call this a fish hook pattern. I think we're going to go ahead and break this resistance today at 87.73. If we have a good day, I think it's going to be kind of red today, not very bad. But I did call for uh, a correction day today. I think we can go ahead and bounce on up, take this 90.61, and, and hopefully hit the 92.73 sometime, maybe today or tomorrow. But I've got this until next week, I think, so or the 20th. So I'm pretty excited about that. But I think we got to break this 92.73 and bring it up to this next level of right around 98. That's going to be my long target. Unless I start to see a little resistance here at 92.73 and I'll go ahead and take my profit. But that's DDOG. I like the stock. I like the company. And I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and see if I missed anything here. There's just a little show of some of the customers that they do have. 21st Century Fox, they got DreamWorks, Sonos, they got this one here, Samsung, ARP. You know, it just keeps going on down. So they got a pretty good clientele. Then they got testimonies too that you can sit here and watch through their website. Kind of get, it, get an uptick on what kind of company it is. So always remember, I love stocks. This little link right here, follow us on Twitter, Bird. We've gained some more followers yesterday from the video that I did the other day. Plus, Miss Vegas is always posting alerts in here. She grabbed some of my alerts and posted them in here. We, so also that's, an, that's a real nice little place to get some alerts at. Plus, we do have our Stock Twits links. You can hit the like button, follow us on Stock Twits. And we also have our store right up here where you can sit and buy some merchandise and always remember we love stocks